see you, you decided to steal. You came here first day, you stole um, generator parts. It's not enough. You came back again to steal gas cooker, gas cylinder, right? You left. What did you do with it? You did not what? You took it to Akaja to do what? To sell it. How much did you sell it for? You sold it for 5,000 naira. Can't you You came and get this money to take another neighbor's gas to take for five. When you worked for somebody, they did not pay you. They paid you. It is not the devil. You are added. The devil does not call you to come and steal. You stole once. You came again. You came. Did you hear me? I was, you know the fear. You know the fear. You know that I, no, no, don't, I don't want to hear I'm sorry. You, do you know what? Do you, I do not want to hear what? I am sorry. I don't want to hear it. I, if you, if you did not catch you, will you take him there? You would have come again another day. And you say you are working for me. Have you ever worked for me? I'm asking you. Have you ever worked for me? Somebody brought you on a job. You did your work. You left. They paid you. You came back and started stealing from the neighbors. Please, let's take it to the police station. I would, you will go to court and I will make sure you are... Peggy Overe, beautiful, gorgeous, the wife of Frederick Leonard, the fame lord. Hmm. She is really angry with this guy, Omo, my people. Hmm. You guys have seen the video. How do you guys see what this guy has done? Well, and uh, he's not really speaking good of that guy, seriously, to be sincere. Though we know that the country right now is very, very hard. Uh -huh. No gain saying about it. Everybody know that things are really hard and tough right now in this country. <laughs> or more, it is the survival of the fittest in this country with the things that are happening and all that. <laughs> all right, so I don't want to say much about how the country is and not that and how the country is not. The people that voted whom they voted, of course, they know. So, my queens and kings in the building, Peggy Ovire is really angry. And again, the guy used her name to lie like that. He is working for her. This thing she's doing, I know, um, it kind of like she shouldn't have gone that far. But, you know, she's doing this to clear her name. Do you guys understand? Because there are so many people down in her comment section, you know, say, oh, she went too far, she shouldn't have done this, she's mean, she's that, she's this, you know, a whole lot of things, a whole lot of comments. Her comment section is really flooded with what people are saying. And like, she is really, really prepared for them. She is answering them. When you drop your own, she will come and answer you and clap back. <laughs> like this lady, I never knew she is filled with action or more. <laughs> Judy Austin should come and see women that do not take nonsense. That is a no-nonsense lady. <laughs> Just imagine that. If this woman is Queen May or more, <laughs> she for don't show Judy Austin way out. Day, day. All right, back to our topic before I just uh, digress a little. You know, this guy lied with her name. So, all this thing, like this thing she's doing now, is just to clear her name. Do you guys understand? It's not as if that she's this, she's too serious, she shouldn't have taken it this far. The guy has lied with her name. If she doesn't do this, if she did not make this video, if she did not, you know, like talk to this guy like this, people would have believed, oh, you know, he would have stained her name by, oh, he's Pegovere, that's him about karma you know still people's things so oh, it's pegovira that did ah you know it will give pegovira a bad name she is trying to clear her name if it's you my brother my sister you will do everything possible to clear your name do you know what it means for your name to be involved in stealing ah my brother my sister now no now we should not do because we are not affected then we blame the person that is being affected here okay she's a public figure we all know that that she's a public figure if this thing should go viral like if her name should go viral that oh the guy that stole so, 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 and so said is pegovire that sent that sent him oh like how would you feel how would the husband feel how would the family members feel like who will come and save her who will come and say oh no 
she did not do it. Nobody. This is the only way for her to defend herself. This is the only way for her to clear her name. This is the only way for her to get the truth out of this guy's mouth. Because you guys know that this word is something else. So this word is something that you just have to be smart. And seriously, what I see in this video is her, is Pegoviri being smart by getting the truth out of the guy and asking the guy, did I, have you ever worked for me? Did I send you for anything? Do you get if it's you, you will get angry. You know, forget about the names that she called and all that and all that. Please, it, it, it's, it's by the way, when you're angry, there is nothing you cannot say. There is nothing that cannot come out from your mouth. Okay, we should, we all should understand her own position. We should, we all should understand what she's feeling, how she felt. You know, <laughs> my people, seriously, but that the country is hard is not an excuse for anybody to take what does not belong to him or her. That is the simple truth. If you know something does not belong to you, my brother, my sister, do not say because the country is hard. Okay, when I do it, when I collect what does not belong to me, if they catch you, you will not say, oh, the country is hard. You now believe that people that will defend you saying that the country is hard, they will be right there to defend you. They will be there to, you know, to save you by saying, oh, the country is her, leave him or her. Oh, is the situation of the country. No, there are several jobs you can do to earn a living. There are so many things you can do to earn a living. Why take what does not belong to you? Is that the only way you can earn a living? Is that the only way you can put food on your table? Please, I don't know. Let us judge this thing. Let us say our minds. What is your thoughts based on this video of Pegovire and this guy that you have watched? What do you think? Like, should we blame what he did on the country? Or, like, should we blame what he did or put what he did uh, to the situation of the country right now? Is that what we should do? Or should we just, you know, tell him this thing you did is very wrong? And then let him go or should Pegovire go ahead and allow the police people to take um to take control of the matter to handle the matter by themselves and again should this guy you know go to Kirikiri? i really want to know all those things down in the comment section please drop your comments okay guys there is also a note or should i call it a gentle reminder that she dropped she said hey they are filmmakers this post is for you all to never employ this guy. I met him on a production I was in. The production was filming at an apartment I gave them to rent. Immediately the job was over, this guy came back, made sure neighbors had gone to work during the day. You know, so she's trying to explain what we have already seen. If today is your first time of coming across this channel, please do well to hit on that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified once we upload our videos. Thank you so much for watching. I still remain your baby girl getting around to Olivia. Thank you so much. Peace out.